What's up, YouTube? This is Focus Motion doing a quick vid, uh, a snapshot, if you will, of PLO 5 6 Max on H.com, on part of the Merge Network. Got my boy TJ betting into the flop with a uh, full house. Nice hand, TJ. Uh, yeah, so quick, let's see, quick summary today is Saturday, May the 22nd, right? Yeah, 22nd. Um, and just doing quick videos I can post it on YouTube. Uh, real quick, I have um, my holder manager up and running. Uh, so yeah, 10 9 here. I'm back to a flush draw, two pair. Uh, I'm going to check to see what happens, um, what people are doing. I got a king blocker, so anybody have queen jack, there's a blocker to the king. Um, and we'll go from there. But uh, yeah, like I said, I got my hold on manager up and running. I have, um, let's see, I'm a float. If I spike a 9 or 10, I'm good. If not, I'm going to give it up. Uh, hold on manager running, so right here with the 82, that's the percentage of hands that people are playing. And um, let me check here with my flush shot now. So hopefully, cap. I'll we'll check and then TJ might bet into probably two thirds pot, maybe half pot, and I'll I'll probably call along with that. Um, oh no, well, really weak bet there. Um, let's let's call see what happens. I've got a lot of people to ask behind me, so I don't know, I'm not quite sure what will happen here. Like I said, so I got so 82 represents 80, um, basically the percentage of uh, hands you play. So if you, if you play 100, it can say 100%. If you play 80%, it's 80%. In this particular case, Monran plays at 82%. Uh, yeah, if anybody bets, I'm folding, obviously. I got 10, 9, 2 pair. It's straight popularly out there. And I think TJ hit it straight. Uh, in advance, nice hand, TJ, again. Or unless you're chopping with Monrand, um, but uh, good hand, sir. Uh, he's got the he got got the jack. Um, his stats he's played seventy percent. Basically, in Omaha six max PLO, uh, you should be playing anywhere around uh, I believe like thirty to forty percent of your hands. Anything higher, you're pretty considered loose aggro. And uh, TJ. Uh, ha had the straight, like I figured, and Monran had the straight too. But let's take a look at that real quick and see what happened. So TJ had a pair of nines with a gutter ball on the flop. Monran had a gutter ball, and that's it. And I had, of course, two pair and so forth. Yeah, in hindsight, I could have bet out. But then when the turn hit for uh, TJ, he's probably going to call. And then, of course, I'm at the fold of the river. So I did save some money in a sense. But um, I really don't like to bet into a full field if I'm in first, uh, first position or first to act on every street. So, um, yeah, that's an easy uh, check call. Then fold river um, standard unless I've filled up. Uh, so right now, let's identify the donkeys or the fish or the... Uh, TJ would say yum yum. Uh, right now, I don't really see that many yum yums here. I do see mine around. He's pretty fishy. And Cat Bell, I don't know. He ha he played a hand with me. And I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure how that worked out. Um, and let's see. And I, and I folded. And I felt like maybe what I could have done was check the turn. And, uh, and, um, Check called river, um, but the way I was playing it, it looked like I was gonna jam it, or yeah, get it all in the river, and I end up folding against uh, cat, cat both a shove, which you know made me sick. But what can you do? Let's take a look here. Um, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, okay, over here. So, uh, pre-flop I raised, um, and a TJ raised and I re-raised, and I think I, it was automatic auto-raised, I, I didn't realize he raised, if he didn't raise, I was going to raise, but it was kind of a mistake, I, I, flatted, I should have flatted, 
Well, actually, I take that back. Given TJ raising, I should be folding because he's raising in early position, reasonably strong holding. And then it comes down to the flop, checks, the guy checks, Kappa checks, and I bet he calls. And then he checks. I bet he calls. And by the time he by the time he's doing that, I'm thinking he either has queen six, queens with a good kicker or pocket sixes, right? So, cause like he check calling on a very dry board, a dry flop, and then he does the same thing with uh, not really too concerned about the heart too. So, in my in my opinion, in my eyes, I felt like he had the vote. And what I should have done was on the turn, I should have just checked the turn instead of betting the turn. Because what happened was he donked, shoved on the on the river, and that made me. <laughs> uh, even though it was so small, I knew I was beaten. Uh, can't be throwing good money after bad, so I just chucked it, but. Uh, gross. Gross. Um, let's see. Been playing uh, Badoogie. Uh, and it's like my third time playing Badoogie. It's a pretty good game. Interesting game. The strategy involved, but uh, you know, I'm still learning. It's fun, but it's definitely something that you could lose a lot of money if you're not too um, familiar with the game or you're not paying attention. Uh, but past that, Omaha doing all right. Um, nothing too shabby. Let's see, queen, four, ten, jack. I'm folding that. I'm in, you know, middle position somewhat. And um, I definitely want to have some sort of decent holding to raise. My mo uh, playing Omaha is if the raise, raise or fold, preflop, unless I'm trying to trap. Um, but even then, you know. It's kind of hard to trap in Omaha because your hand is never at the nuts unless you flop quads or flop a full house or whatnot. So, um, so really, so my so my my whole mindset is to, to raise or to fold pre. And yeah, and TJ, I know you were wondering about um, that one hand, and I told you I had the nuts, and you're like, no, you didn't have the nuts. You bluffed me. Well, let me see if I can find it for you, sir. And to prove to you that I have nuts. Now I might have been behind on the flop. I'm pretty sure I was, um, but uh, by the river, of course, I had it. So <laughs> let me see if I can find it. Let me see if I can find it while I'm. We can watch the action here. Kind of. Uh, uh, oops. I think, I think that was it right here. Oops, oops, oops. Go back. Go back. Go back. Um, on my hand, I think if I, yeah, I don't know what happened there. I just sat down, I guess. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, don't know. I think it, let's see, <clears throat> well, it's almost up, 10 minutes up, so I just wanted to give a quick shout out to everybody out there, a uh, quick shout out to TJ, I'm watching your videos as we speak, um, very interesting, choice of music too, so we have similar st music style, that's cool, I recognize Scarface in the background, um, so yeah man, so that's my mindset this weekend is to grind PLO 6 Max. Also going to be checking out the um, Boston versus, uh, who are they playing again? Orlando. And uh, yeah, I'm not too, much, too much of a Boston fan, so I'm looking to see Orlando win at least one game, man, because they're just sucking bad. Alright guys, this is Focus Motion. I shall be out in a second. I just got to see if I can find that one hand. That I uh here we go. So TJ, check this out, man. What do you see? Yeah, so I had the nuts on the river, but I think I might have been beat on the flop. I had a gut shot on the flop, that's why I called off. Plus I had some blockers to the nine, and then the turn gave me a nut flush draw. So anyway, all right, guys, this is Focus Motion. <laughs> Catch you later, and I'll be posting more vids, and also posting a response vid to TJ's video as a kind of like a critique analysis. Uh, that'll be like a three or four part segment kind of deal. All right, guys, man, peace. Later, spot.